Good morning, February 1st. And last night was a busy night. So we had that, uh, we had a two backwards calve, a set of twins that were both backwards. One's alive, one didn't make it, the first one didn't make it. And uh, shortly after that, Shortly after that, we had, uh, oh, I think I might have another one calving. Um, shortly after that, we checked the cameras and we had another heifer calve in the barn. I'll go show you that in a bit. And then this morning when Peter came to check the bunks, he found another cow that had calved. So we needed to help the one but uh, since then we've had two that were good on their own so yeah busy day So here's Caroline. Hey. That's a nice little calf that she had, bull calf. This is the heifer that calved in the barn. We noticed her at about uh, four o'clock in the morning. This calf was running around. So I believe this is a heifer calf. Mom did awesome. No, bull calf, nice. That's a bull calf, and I think I think Peter said this one's a heifer. Oh, looks like it's on her deal. It's looking. There, it's on. Oh. We've got a calf, a tiny little one. Oh my gosh, is that thing tiny? I came out here to check, but that thing is tiny. That thing's not gonna be much more than 40 pounds. She's gonna have twins too. She's gonna have another one, I bet. There's no way she should only have a calf that small. All right. We're gonna let them be, because she was laying down. Oh, that's another one. That thing is tiny, unbelievable. A little bull calf, okay. We got ourselves another one. Okay, we got feet, second one's coming. I almost think that one's backwards. This won't take much. Yeah, that one's backwards. So when you see the hawks, oh, the feet, and, that, and the feet are upside down, that's when you know that it's backwards. So now I wanna, now I wish I would've brought her in. Because now I want to, whenever a calf comes backwards, uh, once the umbilical cord's pinched, then uh, they're losing. That's what they need to, they need air. When the umbilical cord is pinched, they need air to breathe, obviously. So. I wonder if we move her into the barn. You want the sled? For the calf? No. Uh, let's go get some more help and we're gonna. Oh, we could do that way too with the sled. But we gotta. Right there. Yeah, you grab grab the sled. I'm gonna get them to put the cows in the bar in pens so that we don't have to deal with that. Can you put these cows in pens? I gotta bring that cow in.
in all honesty, I'd probably just carry the thing. If she, if she lays down and she lets me help her right there, then, uh, come here, come here, come here. No, stay down, stay down, sweetie. Is that the no, that's backwards, that's the back leg. Waiting for it to kind of sneeze or cough. Yep. Mm. That thing ain't very big either. No, this thing's tiny too. Hey boys, we got it! There might be three. Is it dead? No, no. it's alive. That thing nope. Is... You mm. might be right. If there's a third, she'll do it. Those things legs just look fragile. You're not coming this way, right? No, we're going that way. Let's uh This one ain't doing so hot. No. Come on. I got this one. Yeah, move those legs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Less than you, Quinn, but barely. I got one in my hand. Dylan's got the other one. You bring the cow. Yeah, this red one ain't doing so hot. Black one seems to be doing better. Me? Hey. 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 Yeah, I would just close that gate. Uh, oh man, I don't even know what to do with this thing. Maybe we just let mama lick it. Does it have fluid in his lungs? No, it's just, it's... Oh my, it's just... No, like that, it, it's breathing. That's Once they're breathing, it's just... Head is up. I would leave it. There you go. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I'm not overly hopeful with those two calves that were just born. They're pretty small and uh, quite fragile. So we'll see. Bonus is it's warm outside. But yeah, we'll see what happens. So yeah, wasn't expecting that. That's three sets of twins in a little over 24 hours. Hey, so these are the heat boxes and we have not used them. As you can see, the grass is even growing around them. But I think I'm gonna dig these out and that might take a pry bar or two. So I'm gonna go grab that. We'll spend a bit of time trying to dig these out, get them going. And then uh, again, it's not it's not cold out here by any stretch, but those little gaffers are little. Okay, so Kendall's outside working on another cow that's calving. And the boys and I've got one of our little heat uh, boxes here ready to go. I guess it's gonna be one of those days. <laughs> I got another cow calving, <sighs> which is awesome. Um, but with these preemies I got here, I talked to the vet about it and we're gonna, we got them in the shack where it's nice and warm and um, we're gonna give them some colostrum, get them tummies, some warmth and some energy. 
So yeah, great that we have live calves, but these two are gonna take us a bit of work. So the black one right there, she got AI'd and her water bag just broke. So we're gonna keep our eye on her and uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a busy day. That's good. Queen's playing, keeping them warm. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna uh, make up, mix up some colostrum. But their heads are both up. And they are breathing, so, yeah. Okay, right, I, uh, I sent Quinn to town, trying to find a goat bottle to feed these calves. I'm a little bit hesitant to tube them with our tubes that we have. Uh, so I wanna try goat bottle. Nipples are a little bit, our normal size nipples for uh, when we bottle feed calves, they're a lot bigger. <coughs> so I sent him to go see, I think he found something, but I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what he found, but he says he's got something, so. The fact that it's sucking, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. I was more worried that we'd have to tube it. Well, we'll see with this guy yet. He might have to. Like, he just about down this whole thing. Is he gonna have a ball? Hi, Dylan. Feet are starting to show on 844. Oh, perfect. Like, I don't, yeah. I can They're see the right a, way. I can see a foot. Okay. Looks like it. I think they're great. It's a good. Dr. Pepper eggnog combination. What? No, it's a Dr. Pepper, Dr. Pepper bottle. We're, we're it's like giving, eggnog. We're giving her calf Dr. Pepper. Yep. To the doctor. Well, do you ever hear the story? It's like a hundred and five year old lady. She said the key to her old, getting old was Dr. Pepper. She drank a Dr. Pepper every day. I said, I talked to her when I was talking to the vet, she said uh, one bottle, like this is how much we should give it. I'm like, there's no way this little calf is gonna drink this much. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> well, well, we'll see with this guy yet. I'm guessing he won't. Yeah, but. I'm much more optimistic on the black one. But even in the, however long he's been here now, hour and a half, this guy's gotten better. Oh, yeah. He couldn't even lift his head before, and I know it's resting on Kendall's leg now, but. But he's, they'll be tired. They're small and don't have a whole lot of muscle. Or any <laughs> keeper is just gone. He's like more. Well, if the red one doesn't finish, then you. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, brother. You got some life. Hi, brother. All right, we'll cook up another bottle. Yeah, it don't matter. Well, we got the the first calf born is standing. Like he is tiny. This one, we're trying to feed it, but he's not doing quite as good, but we're, we'll give him a little bit more time. But the first one's standing already, so. We weighed the black one, he was 40 pounds, so. This one was how much? I'm not sure, we just, we wanted to get an idea on how. Definitely smaller though, right? How light I, they are, I, I don't I, know. I think that one's, th if this one was 30, I'm gonna say that one's 34. Yeah. Yeah, they are little. They are tiny, but. Let's see what we can do. Yay! I'm gonna go out and check that cow to see how it's calving. This is a heifer, right? I think so. I was told it was. Peter told me it was a heifer. So that's that calf was born early this morning. That one was how heavy did you say? 74. 74 pounds. Nice weight. I'm gonna go out there and check that cow. Huh. She's taking her time. Okay. That 
that looks like a big calf. We got uh, feet out, noses out. Let's hope that uh, she can do this. Oh, a nice white line down the face. Eyes are there. Eyes are out. Yeah, that's a big head. Come on, give me some life here, calf. Come on there, mama. You can do it. Calf doesn't look very lively. There we go. There, now the calf is eating. Eating? Yep. Yep, now we'll pull it out. The rest of the way. Wow, does that thing have some curl on it? This will be a bull calf. Good job, mama. Nope, it's a heifer. Three K was on. Oh, perfect. I can hurt. I'm not stealing her. Just leave her out here for lunch. Yep. <laughs> She's stuffing. Oh. Your calf here. Look at the curl on that thing. Nice. I don't even know how many that is today. One, two, three, four, five. This is number six, and it's lunchtime. So 101 was today, right? 101 had twins. I'm not counting the dead one. Uh, no, but it had one today. Yeah. Like it wasn't so 101 had two. Then we had 3K, 33. Four ninety one. Four ninety one had twins, so that's six, and now this one is seven. We've had five cows mm. though. Yep. Okay, we came back right after lunch, and that other calf, uh, it, it didn't make it. The the brother to this one, he didn't make it, but this guy is doing better. He is walking. He's standing. He even ate a little bit more. So we're gonna keep them warm and milk. Peter was out milking uh, in the maternity pen. He milked, uh, I'm not sure where he is now, but he milked the cow, gave it some more colostrum and uh, the calf drank it, so. Okay, we pulled this out. We haven't used this in, have you ever been around while we've had this? Never. We had two of them. Did you use them lots before I was here? Uh, a couple times, not much. Oh. But anyway, we got the heat lamp going in here. And it's actually really, oh yeah, that's actually really warm in there already. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. That's where he'll live for the next little bit. Come. All right. That calf was the one that was born. Peter found it when he came to work this morning. Ah. He processed that one. And it was 74 pounds, nice heifer calf. And that was off of our Titan Bull, who is no more, sadly, because that calf looks awesome. Bip, come on, dip. I'll go this way. She'll soon realize she's got nowhere to go going this way. Come on, let's go. Bip. This cow is actually, her calf that she had last year is, uh, was a steer and we kept it as a 4-H calf. So, that combination works. 
So hopefully that calf, uh, calf should do well. This is really good for the calf too. It's working that tongue. Tongue's getting stronger. Legs are getting better. Everything about this is just <laughs> awesome. I thought this was a long shot. Is it working fairly good? Oh yeah. Is he getting on his oil? No, he's not, but he he's just... But like, if you put him on, he'll stay on? Oh yeah. Like that's all right, well, this little guy's doing good. You put him back in his little incubator. Yeah. Keep him nice and warm. And Dylan's waiting patiently. This heifer of his right here, she is 10 days overdue. <laughs> Utter very full. And uh, she should catch him, so. Anywho. It was a long day, but a good one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for taking the time to watch and have yourself a good one.